Welcome back everyone, it's me, Chef Supreme Scotty. For your post ab workouts, whether it's breakfast or it's a brunch, you're gonna make what Supreme Scotty's making today, Chef Supreme Scotty. We're making eggs, you can have them scrambled or you can make them an omelet, depends on what you want. But you pick eggs because they have a good amount of carbs and proteins in them and they're a complete source of protein. In addition, you can have any type of yogurt you want because that's a good source of dairy as well and a little bit of sugar. When it comes to your caloric intake, you don't want too many sugars when you're trying to get your abs and you're trying to cut back. So for the amount of eggs that we're having, we're only gonna have probably four to six range, not the Supreme Scotty ones where it'd be a dozen at a time because that was bulking season and now it's shredding season. We're just trying to cut down. We're trying to get that six pack, that tone definition to your body. So you look good for the beach. Regardless if you have abs or not, it's all about portion control. So when you're eating, always go for smaller sizes and portions of each meal. So right now I'm only making four eggs and I'm also making it on a smaller skillet. So that way it looks like a bigger meal than it actually is. Cause I'm used to having a dozen at a time. I'm used to having at least four different types of foods in breakfast or lunch and it helps you cut back. And in addition, most people say, oh, isn't cutting back bad if you go from a bulking season to a shredding season? If you cut back a lot, yes. But if you're just an average lifter, you're just trying to start off with a six pack, I recommend just try to cut down as much as you can and simple changes won't really add up to a lot. So in terms of eating, another way you can cut back on calories and sugars is instead of having your soda or your pop or whatever you have, have good old H2O, it's all you really need. It has no excess calories, some minerals for taste like it says on the label, but besides that, it's pretty good. So when I was at the gym the other day, in order to burn 100 calories, I had to spend over seven minutes on a treadmill going as fast as I could, and that's what it takes. So every time you reach for that slice of cake, just remember how much effort you're gonna have to put into it. I'll just think, wait a minute. Do I really want the Supreme Gains or do I want the 2019 dad bod? I don't know. And now my eggs are done. That was a quick five minute meal. It doesn't even take that long to eat healthy. And in addition, instead of adding ketchup or salt to your eggs, cause that's what us Americans do a lot, Instead, just add a little pepper. It will still give you the flavor that you want without adding extra calories that are unneeded and unhealthy. And in addition to that, although on a strict diet to get your abs for the summer, it may cost you taste. You're gonna lose a lot of taste and flavoring in your foods, but in the end, you have to determine is the flavor of a small individual meal really worth getting to that six pack point? or are you just gonna go and binge on all the good food and the good taste? Hey guys, so I hope this was a good video to help you get an example of what a good meal looks like when it comes to dieting to get your six pack and to get a good toned body for the summer. I will have continuous videos coming out of more exercises and more meals in order to help you guys out and achieve the goals that you want. So give a thumbs up, put the notifications on so I don't have to keep putting all over social media that I came out with a new video and have a great Supreme Scotty day.